Hello and welcome back everyone. Today I wanted to announce something very, very special. Um, I have put together my first photo book and um, I'm going to be sharing it here in this video. So it is called Natural Ohio, a collection of photographs. Um, I made it through blurbbooks.com. Uh, they make self-publishing uh, different kind of products like books, magazines, uh, tr you know, trade books, trade magazines, all that stuff. And so, yeah, I put this together this book. Um, there's about 100, I think, or 101 uh, different photographs. I'm taking over the past five years up until the present here um, and then going spanning all the way back to 2016 uh, really where I got started doing outdoor nature photography in particular um, so yeah it's all encompassing into this book here I'm um, just showing my progression my growth um, of my career so far um, in a chronological order with the photographs itself um, so yeah we're just going to hang out here on this hammock and um, I'm just going to show you the book and talk more about uh, the process making it and all that stuff so let's go ahead and get started All right, so I finally settled in here. Um, this is actually my very first time um, setting up a hammock. So just out here at a local nature reserve, I've gone to many, many times before uh, previously, and I filmed a few videos that, as well. So, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna be talking about maybe the, I guess the uh, whatever I feel like I guess relating to the book. Just talk about the background behind it, and uh, just the whole process, really, the creation of it. So uh, I'll try to keep this sort of short, you know, because I could ramble on and you know incessantly about this, but. Um, yeah, the book, um, it turned out pretty well. It wasn't my original envision, um, at least what became the final outcome. Um, but, you know, as I'm making it, I had all these different ideas and all this over-ambitious, uh, just, just things to make the book into, I guess. Um, and a lot of it was to make it feel like more like a proper published, uh, through like an actual publisher, uh, kind of photo book. And something that's going to be very, very long, uh, tons of different photos, um, just different stuff, uh, like captions. Uh, the EXIF data and like an index style in the back of the book and all that stuff. So it's going to be fully featured, going to be a big hardcover probably. All that stuff kind of went away, unfortunately, because uh, the book became too expensive. Uh, this is through Blurb, of course. Um, so and it's like I can't knock Blurb for it because I was asking for too much and making this really big and overambitious project. Um, and it just simply was just too, too much. Uh, so um, I scaled it back because the book... Uh, the original conception of the book, which I spent about a couple days, a uh, solid days that is, uh, putting it together, and um, it took like I think it was like 130 bucks or something ridiculous. It was way too much, um, so I scaled it a lot back, a lot more, and uh, just opted for something much more smaller and simpler, uh, which is this seven by seven square uh, photo book, as you know what it resulted in. Um, so I still have the original file for that big photo book. I don't know if I ever release it. Um, or at least maybe order some copies for myself because I just can't imagine well first it wouldn't be good profit and you know return on investment um, I wouldn't be able to make any good sales uh, from it because it just would be so expensive and secondly more importantly is that no one would buy it if it's that dang expensive like even the other professional fine art photographers uh, they, their photo books usually aren't that much and if they are it's usually because they're jam-packed with different stories and all this you know text and copy in them or you know it's just very Lots of benefits and packages, you know, stuff that, you know, perks, I guess, to the uh, the book itself. Or it's just simply, like, limited edition or whatever. So, that's just some things to consider with uh, making these photo books. Self-publishing is a good route for me, just because I haven't landed a deal, of course, with an actual publisher. Um, and so, Blurb was a perfect one. There's tons of different other ones out there, like uh, Lulu, uh, I think Shutterfly. Um, there's just tons out there, so you can do your own research, of course, but... Um, I guess in a way this video is kind of like my casual sort of laid back review of Blurb itself. But uh, yeah, I used their, their proprietary software, it's called BookWrite, um, to make the photo book. And honestly, that was probably one of the best parts about making it. So they make it really easy. It's really like a breeze uh, to put together the actual images. Uh, you can put down different text. You can rearrange all the pages however you see fit. Um, and there's just tons of different ways to do everything um, and make it just however you want it to be. You know, whatever project you are you know, creating, I guess. So um, overall, yeah, it was a lot, it was great to use that software. Um, but just at the end of the day, it was just way too expensive with the amount of pages because they, they charge you per page. I think it's over 20 pages. Um, they start charging you like about 20, 30 cents each, which doesn't sound like much, but when you're making a 100 plus page photo book, um, like I did, uh, it just became way too expensive. Um, especially with the more minimalist design, I was thinking of having just plain white pages little to no text or copy or captions even for that matter and just have each page be its own photograph that we could solely focus on each one as like its own unique experience I guess um, so 
all that yeah all that got thrown away um like i said i still have the project on there so maybe someday i'll actually bring it back out i guess into the public eye or whatever uh, but for now um, i'm just opting for this much smaller photo book uh, which i'm still proud of you know overall so i can't complain too much but I kept it real bare bones um, i do have like a little bio and my part of my actually wait yeah, i got my artist statement that is on the back um one of my old bio photos that I actually took at this nature reserve uh, a few years ago it's a pretty old uh picture of me i guess and then uh, one of my ansel adams tribute um which i did in one of my on location videos or while i was at the location filming one of them but anyways that's the back there it has my website and my textual logo uh the front's uh one of my favorite images of me i guess <laughs> it's one of my silhouetted sunset uh, oaks quarry uh, shots at least that's where i took it at um so yeah kept it real nice and simple natural ohio it's got my name same with the spine it has the subtitle there too uh, a collection of photographs as well um so it's all that stuff but then the very first page that you go on to has forward and acknowledgements and this just has um basically just a really short uh kind of like personal i guess uh I don't know what you call it, upbringing, the origin story of me, uh, just talking about, you know, first grabbing a camera and just taking photos and just, you know, going from there, simply hiking and everything. Uh, so it's got all that in there. And then I fast forward to the present day now, or at least um, pretty recently when I made this book and put it together. And I just talk about what the book's about and uh, what, to, what to expect from the photo book itself. And I just give on the same page here, a uh, handful of shout outs to different people I've met along the way um you know different you know galleries i'm a part of and all those members and just people have you know supported me along the way of course you know which i really appreciate of course of course um so and then yeah just basically saying enjoy the photos and then uh it's just pretty much it from there it's just a bunch of photos uh threw together and i sequence them based on the years first first and foremost and then i sequence them based on their color so it's like basically starting at 2016 with some of my earliest images i took out in nature and then uh, fast forwarding all the way to the present day here in 2021, or at least the first half of that year. And so, yeah, it's just all those images together and everything. And um, yeah, so it's it's pretty good, I think, overall. I really enjoy it. Um, it's photo paper that's luster, so that, which is my favorite photo paper of choice. Uh, I really like the nice stipply look to it. And it's in between something that's full gloss and semi-gloss, um, and I guess in between that and matte. So. Luster photo paper looks really nice, and that's what I use for this entire book here. Uh, besides the soft cover, which has, there's no dust jacket with this as well. Um, the soft cover is like a glossy uh, design, which is okay, um, but it does attract uh, fingerprints quite easily, which I'm not too big of a fan of. So maybe next time, if I ever do make another photo book again, uh, hopefully I'll opt for a much more matte design, or maybe we'll just with like a dust cover, dust jacket, because I just don't like the fingerprints on glossy stuff, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I can't complain. Um, I have this priced at $50. Um, you can get it with the link down below, and, or you can just go through my website and find it that way um, under the books tab. And so, yeah, worked out pretty well. Um, like I said, it's for sale. If anyone's interested, or I'll have this, uh, hopefully a couple copies placed in my galleries or at festivals if you meet me there. So um, all that fun stuff. So yeah, like I said, I really like how the book turned out and um, you know, I hope you enjoy it too, of course. So. Putting it together was really bittersweet and just going back through my entire catalog, not even my edited images, but also my raw files and uh, just talking about them and everything. So yeah, it worked out real well and I'm really happy with the results here. So um, I think that's pretty much it for it, honestly. Um, I really, yeah, enjoyed making it and um, you know, I hope you enjoyed the photos, of course, and um, you know, just going along this journey here, of course, with me too, um, all these many years now. So um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching everyone. And I hope you have a great day and I hope you check out the book. See ya.